Hello guys, today in this video I'm going to show you this new NitroType autotyper called Hyper Ghost Client or which I simply call Hyperbot. This autotyper works on Mac, Windows, Chromebooks and even on mobile devices. I wouldn't be surprised if this bot worked on a Nokia from the 1900s as long as it has a browser on it. And the coolest thing about this autotyper is that you don't have to download or install anything and also once you set up the autotyper you can close your laptop if you want you can shut it down it will still work so let's jump right in and let me show you how to use this autotyper the first thing you need to do is create a discord account if you don't have one already once you have a discord account to your name next we need to join this discord server and i'm going to use this link right here to do so and I will have the link uh, in the description of this video by the way. Next thing we need to do is go down to the bot commands channel. And here we're going to type in slash git key and press enter. And it's going to give us a link to follow. So we're going to click on that link. And then we're going to scroll down just a little bit and click on free access. And that's going to give us a key to copy. So we're going to copy that link or key and then go back to the bot commands. And then now we're going to type in slash eraser. And it's going to give you a suggestion like this. So just click on it. That will just make things easier. Uh, so next to key, we're going to paste the key that we just copied. Paste. And then next to username, enter your NitroType username, password, amount of races. Let's do about five races for this demonstration and press enter. And if you have entered the username, password and everything correctly, it will give you a message that looks like this. So right now the bot has started. It's typing. It's doing its thing. I can close out of this tab if I want. I can close the whole browser. I can shut down my computer if I want the bot will still work. If you want to see the results of the races, you can go to your natural type stats. So I'm going to do that right now. My stats go down to the detailed section of the stats. So and then we're going to click on view more details. There it is. Right now it's 257 and this was done at 256. So that was about a minute ago. So it just completed a race actually. And this is the result of that race that it just completed. So it's probably about to complete another race. So if I just refresh this page, there it is. It just completed another one. And this time I got in first place with 83 words per minute. And yeah. So now I wanna show you a couple more things. So let's go back to the bot commands. If you want to stop the bot, all you gotta do is type in slash stop eraser press enter and the bot is no more racing i want to show you one more thing and that is if you want to get a live update of how the bot is doing then you need to create a web hook and so to do that we're going to make a new discord server And then from here, we're going to click on this drop down, click on server settings, go down to integrations, create webhook, click on this, and you can name it whatever you would like. I'm just going to name it bot status, and you can leave the channel as it is because we're not going to be doing anything in the server, but uh, getting status of the bot. And then we're going to copy the webhook URL save changes and exit out of that we're gonna go back to the hyper typer server if you were in a session already i would just stop the session by typing slash stop racer which as you can see i don't have a session going on already so it doesn't matter uh, but what we're going to do is type in slash racer again and here there's one more option here as it says right here we're going to click on that and that's the webhook option and there we're going to paste the webhook URL that we just copied. So paste and then fill out everything else that, as I explained earlier. So paste the key and then the username. And once you have filled out everything correctly, press enter. 
once again if you have entered everything correctly it will give you a message that looks like this and now we can go back to the server that we made the bot update server and as you can see it's already sent some messages it said attempting to start race a race has started and this is what it's typing right now in about 30 seconds it will finish this race and start another one as you can see it took about a minute actually and it just finished a race and it's attempting to start another race and actually just started another race if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll see you in the next video